Hi guys, uh, it's Lewis Allen here, um, the event coordinator for SE1 Active. Um, today's event, as you can tell, I'm tired, it's been a great event, it's action packed. Um, we started off with our school sports sessions, so we had roughly about 90 kids come in from St. George's Primary School, and we had our ambassadors deliver a, you know, an intense sports session with them for an hour. Um, during this period, we also had our women's belly dancing going on, and as well as an African drumming workshop, which was also open to the school, which they were able to do. This then followed probably one of our busier periods, as we had our badminton and the sports, or we had our risotto fitness, which was a huge hit. Shocky, shocky, me say Al Qaeda, baby dancing for me and dab. Shocky, shocky, me say Al Qaeda, baby dancing for me and dab. Shocky, shocky, me say Al Qaeda, baby dancing for me and dab. Shocky, shocky, me say Al Qaeda, baby dancing for me and dab. Shocky, shocky, me say Al Qaeda, baby dancing for me and dab. Shocky, shocky, me say Al Qaeda, baby dancing for me and dab. Shocky, shocky, me say Al Qaeda, baby dancing for me and dab. Shocky, shocky, me say Al Qaeda, baby dancing for me and dab. Shocky, shocky, me say Al Qaeda, baby dancing for me and dab. Shocky, shocky, me say Al Qaeda, baby dancing for me and dab. Shocky, shocky, me say Al Qaeda, baby dancing for me and dab. Shocky, shocky, me say Al Qaeda, baby dancing for me and dab. Shocky, shocky, me say Al Qaeda, baby dancing for me and dab. Shocky, shocky, me say Al Qaeda, baby dancing for me and dab. Shocky, shocky, me say Al Qaeda, baby dancing for me and dab. Shocky, shocky, me say Al Oh, yeah, give me chance, make you chop deep. I should do the Akira. Um, and we also had our chair based exercise and our African drumming performance, which took place just outside this water centre. Um, the you know, Zonto Fitness got a huge response, everyone loved it, so it's definitely something we're going to look to put on in the future um, as a more regular class. Um, we also had our men's five aside, which you know was good. We had our men's football team come down and run the session overall. Um, and we also had a, a period of time where the function training zone was open to the public and people came down to use it and work out in their own time. Um, this was then followed by a women's only session. Um, it was engaging, it was run by one of our key ambassadors, Leo. So yeah, it was, it was great to watch and there's some exciting people being played. And, and we also had a trampoline session at that same time run by one of our elite scholars, Nicola. Um, who's also becoming one of our ambassadors as well. So it was, really, it was a nice chance for our school to be coached by an elite athlete as well as coach, um, which they all really enjoyed, and it's something that of course they want to do in the future. We also had our MMA um, from, for junior activities from four to five, which was excellent. It's already a big hit here, um, but as you can imagine, inviting it or expanding the invitations out to the public made it even more of a success. And we also had Tai Chi, which is something new, a lot of people haven't done. Um, but again, a lot of people showed interest and that was, that's what the event was really all about, getting people to engage in sports and exercise that they may not have done before. We also kicked off our community basketball session at 4 o'clock, um, run by an up and coming skills trainer named Graham. Um, that was really good, we had a lot of our elite scholar basketball players get involved, as well as some local college students that wanted to come down and you know, improve their game. Um, this two hour session which initially started off with drills and skill work and then they progressed into games. Again, which I'm sure you get footage of, um, and it was again really exciting to watch as a basketball player myself. Um, and it's refreshing to see other people have that passion for sport just in general and really pass it on to the younger generation. We also had our MMA session delivered by one of our you know our best instructors, Kez. Kevlar Kes, Muay Thai instructor, MMA instructor, martial arts instructor. Been here, SC1 active, rocking here all day from 7 a.m. to get to 10 p.m. Um, he already runs his MMA program here and what we did was we moved it from the dance studio into the functional training zone and it was completely packed, it was like carnival in there um, and we had roughly about 30 people in there getting involved in MMA again something that a lot of people may not have done or would have done previously and now we're interested in doing um, and then we had Capoeira at the same time which is quite interesting in the sports hall um, again, bringing that cultural vibe to the sports centre and to our students and staff and the community was something that we really aimed to do. And by bringing in these different sports and exercises from different communities, it allowed us to do so. 
Um, and then we closed with our Mind Body Unite event, um, which is a Pilates yoga and meditation event. It kind of soothed the day down, eased everyone out of the way, um, and it ended the day nicely, which had a really good turnout and was all coordinated by um, Helen. Yeah. Initially, we were very happy with the way the first year of SE1 Active went, and we're looking forward to the events. All right, you guys, do they have to find